本当にあった莫大な宝を目の前にロジャーはあの時登録してたカーディ・タイゾグ We have a Zoro vs. Arlong.、Uh, this is a bad keep, so we'll mulligan.、Um, we'll see how this goes. At least we get a Marco,、oh, but we're going second. We'll pre play a Gordon and pass. They'll attack us for seven and we'll guard point, I guess. Oh, we have nothing to play next turn, so maybe we take it and hope we get a Blackbeard. Ooh, they buzz cut Mochi. Oh, at least they don't play a trigger character with their leader. We'll take the 6k hit. We get another Gordon anyway. Um, hmm. Buzz cut Mochi. And kill our blocker Marco. Let's attack with our leader for 5. If they take. Well, if we had put Don on leader, they would take anyway. Or, what I'm trying to say is, if we played Blocker Marco, we wouldn't have Dawn for leader. But if they want to take so that their Buzz Cut Mochi can kill our Blocker Marco, then it's the same outcome either way, but I just lose the Blocker Marco. But then that's one Buzz Cut Mochi that doesn't hit something else. Ooh, they counter for 1k, so all that that I just said is、um, irrelevant. We'll play Blocker Marco and pass. They'll cheat out a Cracker and then we'll kill it with Gordon Marco next turn. Do down leader, attack us for seven, bring out a cracker, I bet. Always a cracker. We'll take this. Ooh, we could just kill it with Fire Fist. Hmm. No, I want to save Fire Fist. They pass with two down open. We'll attack with our leader for five. Let's attack with our Marco for five, in case this is like a Punk Gibson. They take, get a brulee trigger. Ooh, if I had used the fire fist trigger on Cracker, I could just play Marco and kill the brulee this turn. I could do fire fist instead. Then I won't have anything else developed. We'll just attack their leader with ours for five. If we did fire fist, we could have Dawn for guard point, but no, I think I'd rather have the five class Marco out. Down for two, play Gordon, give. Cracker minus three, we'll play Marco and kill him and pass. Yeah, it's just a brulee. Or we could just kill it next turn if they bring out another trigger. We'll fire fist the brulee and whatever else they bring out. They'll kill our blocker Marco and we're fine with that since we have another in hand. I've been seeing some of you hype up Arlong quite a bit, but I actually think Kudo is better than him. It's a shame that Kudo's alt art is cheaper than Arlong's. It should be the other way around. They do two Arlong. Attack us for seven and cheat out a Chu to kill our blocker Marco. That's pretty good. We'll take this. Get a White Bear Pirate. Let's keep it in hand to use with Fire Fist. Dang, after I just shit talked Arlong, he did a really good play to kill our blocker and attack us for seven. And he has four Dawn left over. But he doesn't really have a hand, so I don't think he has much to play. This could be like a hard casted cracker or a smoothie if he runs smoothie. But I'm not worried. Because I have Fire Fist. Erospero. The trigger that I didn't mention is the one that he played. Right. Three Dawn Fist. Fire Fist. <laughs> fist Fire. For Don Marco, we could do Don Leader or we could leave Don up for a guard point. But I think we'll do Don Leader. Let's Fire Fist first so they can't use the blocker. We'll kill Brulee and Perospero. I don't think Arlong runs 10 cost Big Mom, right? So what does Perospero get for him? Just another cracker? Which I'm not worried about. So we get a pudding. That's a.、Uh, it's the. UK counter? No, that's the search for pudding. Dawn leader. We'll attack them with Marco for seven in case they have some trigger that kills Marco. They take. You're reading something. Yeah, with 
Just to Marco out, we don't need to leave Don up for guard point or radical beam because we can just revive him. If he goes for our face instead, uh, well, we have 2k counter, <laughs> I guess. And we'll have a blocker up. Ooh, they Ikoku Sovereignty to heal one life, but then now they're down to one card in hand. We'll attack with leader for six, they'll take for sure. And then we'll play blocker Marco and pass. Do we need to play Whitebeard next turn? They play Pudding, they'll probably look for a bigger card they can play with their leader. But at this point, I think he's too far behind. Killing one of his uh, cheated out characters with the Gordon and Marco is probably why our tempo is ahead of his. Ooh, they have an 8 cost Katakudi. They could bottom life our Marco blocker. And then attack us for 5. That's not going to do much to us. He needs to get rid of one attacker or else we can threaten lethal. Or he could play a blocker. So I'm guessing he has to play the Katakudi. And then he'll be at zero life next turn. Yep, there's the Katakudi. Probably our blocker. Yep, blocker Marco goes on the bottom. They attack us for five. We'll counter for two, or should we just take this? We'll take it so that our Radical Beam is active. We pass. Um, did we die if I put Dawn on later? 3k counter. We'll be at 7k. They can attack with Katakuri, leader, and then Chu. Yeah, so we can't put Dawn on leader. We'll attack with Marco for 6. They counter for 2. We'll play Whitebeard and attack them for 7. They take. Maybe they get another trigger here. Thunderbolt. In which case we can revive our Marco. Ooh, a Hachan trigger. We'll pass. Now I'm glad I left a Dawn up. Yeah, the reason I like Whitebeard in the Zoro deck is that yellow and green and blue don't have a way to remove them. Uh, black does, but it takes two cards. And so does red with Ace. That would take two cards as well. But yeah. Yellow has no way to get rid of him. Thunderbolt hits 5 and Katakuri hits 8. They do 4 down on leader, cheat out a cracker, attack us for 9. Counter this for 3. And then they concede. If they ping our Marco, we can revive him 4 times. They only have 4 characters they can attack with. Yeah, they can only make one other attacker besides Katakuri. Either Hachan or Chu. Or Pudding too, I guess, if they put 5 Dawn on her. They do 2 Dawn Hachan to ping our Marco. 3 to ping our life. But we know this Marco has 1k counter. I'm pretty sure we don't lose. Like at all. No possible way. They attack Marco for 6. We'll revive him. Uh, he doesn't run any blockers at 2. Right, oh, let's just get rid of guard point to be safe. In case we do need Fire Fist. Or whatever 2 cost blocker he plays, we could probably KO with Whitebeard's 1 attacking ability. Do 2 down Katakuri. Attack Marco for 6. Just to be safe, we'll get rid of guard point. They pass, on leader, attack them with Marco for 7. Relay trigger won't save you, because I have a Whitebeard. They pass, or they resolve, we'll attack with Whitebeard for 11. That's game, let's rematch. They go first again, we can keep this. Fire Fist is going to be really good against them. Yeah, Fire Fist destroys Arlong too. I didn't say that in my video, but now that I'm playing this game, it really does devastate him. We'll play Buggy, pick up a Radical Beam. I think we should play Whitebeard Pirates to find a Marco. Uh, not this Marco, but we'll take a Teach. We'll pass. I think if he plays a Cracker, we're fine taking a double hit. No, we do have 4k counter in hand as well. They do 2 down leader, attack us for 7, and they cheat out, eh? It's a Pero's Pero, that's even less of a threat. 
it's probably a cracker. It's always a cracker. They attack us for seven, we'll take. Oh, they didn't cheat anything out. They don't have any trigger cards in hand. That's not good. Attack with leader for five. Yeah, you can combo Gordon with Fire Fist to even kill Katakuri. Fire Fist is so good. We'll play Power Mochi. Counter for two. We'll play Blackbeard and pass. Does Power Mochi help an Arlong deck? What did he do? He left it at top, so it's a card with a trigger, probably. Hope it's not a Thunderbolt. I think if you miss a turn with your leader ability, there's just no way for you to win with Arlong, because I think he needs to hit it like every turn to even compete. I'm talking a lot of crap on Arlong. Sorry, Crepes. I play Strusin to kill our buggy. Well, that's a 2k counter I don't have to worry about. And I don't think he'll ever be an attacker. So we good with that. They do 3 down leader, attack us for 8. Bring out a cracker, there he is. We'll take this. But well, we can fire fist them. Yeah, I was thinking of finding a marker with Izo, but we wouldn't have enough Dawn to combo with Gordon. But we'll play Izo anyway, since we have Dawn to spare. Take a Marco, but we can't combo it just yet. But we don't have to worry about Cracker, because they have more life than we do. We could play Marco and kill Strusen. We'll see what they do. If they take this leader hit, that means you're going to try to get their Cracker to have double attack. Take it. Oh, they get another Cracker. Okay, now we definitely Fire Fist. The Gordon, Fire Fist, one down left over. Play Gordon, give minus 3k to a Cracker. Fire Fist, get rid of Guard Point, kill both Crackers. Attack with Peach for 6. They take. We'll pre play a Gordon for next turn and pass. Maybe I should have kept the Guard Point. I could have left the Dawn up to protect Blackbeard. But yeah, Fire Fist saves the day yet again. I'd run 4 of it, but I kind of feel like I only need to see it once per game. So like 2 of, seems like the good number. But I guess if I run more, I could always use it to revive Marco. I don't know, I'll mull it over. But there's so many other good cards I want to put in the deck too, so... Fire Fist at 2. Seems to make sense to me. Yeah, in some matchups it's like... Pivotal. In some matchups, it's just a revive fodder for Marco. I'm gonna stick with two. Talked a lot about Fire Fist, waiting for him to attack us for 6k. I guess we will counter for two. Because he's not going to kill our Teach with Struzan. Oh, he can kill it with Krieg. We discard a card and kill our Teach. Uh, I can play double Gordon to kill Krieg with Marco. He might rage quit if I do that. Let's see what happens. We'll Gordon once. We'll Gordon again. We'll Marco and kill him. Down leader, attack him for six. Should have done that at the end of the turn in case they get a trigger that kills Marco. They counter for two. Play Makino, give Yuzo plus three, attack again for six. They take. We'll pass. Gordon's in Fire Fist, man. They play Big Mom, we'll take a life. They attack us for 5, probably Makino. Oh no, if they attack Izo, I have nothing to buff with Makino. Yeah. Smart play, smart play. Oh, they have Strusin, I forgot about him. In the end, Strusin was used for something. Can we threaten Lethal here? On leader, we make Marco a 10, we can make leader into a 12, make Marco an 11 then, now let's make him a 10, 10 is 3 on. We'll attack their leader with Marco for 10, that would burn both cards if this is an Ikoku Sovereignty, and if they take it then they'll have to eat 12k from our leader which they may not 
be able to defend. Ikoku Sovereignty and then a, a 1k. So we'll attack with leader for only 6. We take. Seems like they may have a trigger in hand. It's a Kuroobi trigger. We'll pass. We're gonna have to survive off Radical Beam and two Otamas, which I think is doable since their other characters on board is a 3k and a 1k. I think Arlong will be a lot stronger when they he has a Sanji blocker as a target to bring out. He's bringing out a 5k blocker for free. Seems like a pretty strong play. Did he 2 down on Arlong? That goes for 7. Um, we take this. We defend it, right? Counter for four. And then Kurobi needs six Dawn to threaten us. We can take that, and then Linlin we can take. And then Strusim will only have two Dawn left over to work with, which can't hit us. We chill in. He does two Dawn Kurobi, he has six Dawn for Strusim. Which we can still counter with Radical Beam. Yeah, there's no way for him to win. They do 4 Dawn Strusen. That goes for 5. We can take this. Get a 2k. So like a 110% chance they can't win now instead of 100. 4 Dawn Kurobi. They attack us for 7. We'll Radical Beam. They attack us with Big Mom. We'll take. Get a Fire Fist trigger. We'll kill Strusen. For fun. Since he has no Dawn up, he can't play anything. We pass, we'll do Dawn Leader, attack with Marco for 7 for game, and we win! Okay, bye. Cardi Kaizoku.